Hey guys, it's K-Beast, and I have another watercolor painting for you this week. Um, so there's a bit of a story behind this one, uh, so let me just talk about the materials first, and then I'll get into what I'm painting. Um, again, I did my sketching on computer paper and used my light box to do the line art onto my 300 GSM Canson watercolor paper, and I did most of the line art with my Pentel pocket brush pen and in a couple of small spaces where I wasn't sure I would have enough control I used my Copic um, SP Multiliners just so that I you know would make sure I wouldn't mess up because the Pentel brush pen works pretty well un until you have to get really really fine fine detail and then it's a little difficult so um, and I used my Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors and I also did some final details using my Prismacolor Premier color pencils and then I did some highlighting using my Uniball Signo white gel pen at the end. So that's everything I used. Um, and as for what I'm drawing, I am drawing a zombie drag queen. Um, specifically, I'm drawing Mama Savannah Georgia, who is the drag mother of my best friend and my girlfriend. Um, and I've probably mentioned in previous videos, and as a matter of fact, I know I have mentioned in previous videos about the Georgia drag family and how my best friend and my girlfriend have been part of this drag family for a while, and I've talked about Mama Savannah and a few of the other ones. Um, so yeah, as for why I'm drawing her as a zombie, um, it's two, two things. Um, the last drag show, which was on September 17th, was a zombie theme. And every September we have our zombie themed drag show. So we all dress up in makeup and we do a zombie walk. And um, it's one of our most popular shows. And this particular show was insane because there were two bachelorette parties who had reserved tables. So it was a, a particularly lively crowd, which was a lot of fun. Um, so I chose to do a zombie mama as a zombie for that um but specifically i did this as part of a little auction thing that um my girlfriend and i put together for our friend kel who is one one of the other performers at the drag show um he performs as ego he's a drag king and uh kel is also transgendered um and right now he is trying to save up money um so he can get top surgery and his insurance unfortunately doesn't cover it it's a really crappy situation um and he needs like four thousand dollars and you know he he has a gofundme account which i will link below because i did this you know for his fundraiser so i will send a link in case anybody wants to help out um but yeah i unfortunately don't have a whole lot of money i have next to nothing and my girlfriend Alicia is in the same boat, so we decided, you know, in a, in a way to help um, with his thing, with his fundraising goal, that we would donate um, an object to be auctioned off at the show, and then the proceeds would go towards his surgery. So um, Alicia got together a couple of old drag items as part of Von D's, you know, props, and auctioned those off, and then I did the painting of Mama Savannah as a zombie to be auctioned off to the crowd uh, so and I did the zombie thing because it was a zombie show and it seemed appropriate and um, the auction went pretty well um, it was a little impromptu um, this painting wound up going for 20 bucks which you know it, it's better than nothing but I was kind of hoping to go for more so if I do anything like this again I might make something smaller because um, I was a little little disappointed um, at how little we were able to raise. I mean, Kel wound up getting about $65, he said, total that night to go towards his goal, which is better than nothing, but, you know, I kind of wish that uh, we had been able to do more than that. But he was very grateful, and I was glad to help, and I, I wanted to do something, and I didn't, like I said, I didn't have money to donate, but I can make art, so that's what I decided to do. Um, but yeah, so... Again, I'll, I'll put a link to his GoFundMe in case anybody wants to check it out and offer a hand, because um, I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Um, so yeah, with regards to the art itself, I, I had way too much fun painting this. <laughs> I've never done a zombie before. I've, I've always wanted to, because I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead, and um, I, I've always thought it'd be cool to do zombies, but it, it's a very difficult 
um, thing to get right, and I kind of cheated a little bit. Um, I got the Walking Dead Dead Yourself app on my phone and found a picture of Mama Savannah and then just uploaded it into the app and did the, you know, went through the options until I found a, a zombie that I thought looked good that I would like to draw. And then I essentially used that app thing as reference. So once I had my final picture, I emailed it to myself and pulled it up, on, pulled it up on my nook so that I could have um, a reference while I was painting. And it helped a lot because I tried doing zombies from just my own memory and it, it never looks right. So that app made it made it a lot easier. And I, I've been, I was talking with my friend John, I may have to do more zombie drag queens because it was just way too much fun. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, I've never really painted something this gross before. Uh, but I had a lot of fun with the coloring effects. And I had a lot of fun doing, like, the blood and stuff. I did some splattering later near the end. And it was, overall, it was just really cool. Um, Kel thought it looked really neat. Mama loved it and wants a print. So, um... I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna get it printed next month and give it to her as like an early Christmas present or something because she, she loved it. Um, and the person who bought it really liked it too. So that was good. Um, one thing that I did with this that I think really helped pull it together near the end is when I was done with painting, I pulled out my Prismacolor, uh, Premier Pencils and went in to do highlighting and some fine details and the waxiness of the pencil wound up desaturating a few of the colors in the face and added this kind of rough texture and just it just kind of made the zombiness of it look more real kind of it, it it's kind of hard to explain but just that final little touch is what really made it look you know dead i guess um I don't know. It was, there was a lot of experimentation in this one, but it was it was definitely an, an, a fun thing to paint. So, yeah, definitely definitely gonna have to do more zombies, I think. Um, so yeah. I think I may have touched on everything about this painting that I wanted to say. Um, but just to fill up the time, I think I'll talk about the actual zombie show. Um, it was really great, and it's one of those op um, instances where the crew also get an opportunity to dress up as well. Because um, I help with Spotlight, and I record the performances, mostly for my own vlog, but sometimes I'll record one if a queen asks me to. And um, I also run water back to the queens and... Um, help them get ready sometimes um so I got to dress up as a zombie and every year I managed to make it look a little better so what I did this year is I actually glued toilet paper to my face using Elmer's glue and after it had dried and I had put a base coat of makeup over it I ripped the toilet paper to make it look like cuts and um and then used dark makeup on the inside to make it look deep and then we made fake blood using honey, cocoa powder, and food coloring, which was very sticky, but it looked realistic and it also it also tasted like candy. So like if you put it in your mouth, it's not gross like most commercial fake blood is. Um, it's just very sticky, <laughs> which was uncomfortable, but you kind of get used to it after a while. Um, but it looked really good and I'm definitely going to have to do that method again for next year. But I'm thinking instead of using gray face paint, I'll probably just go with more natural looking foundation so that I look more recently dead because I only did the gray on my face and everything else looked normal. But, um, if you want to see more of the zombie stuff, it'll be in the vlog that's linked at the end of this, um, because it was just way too much fun. Um, and then here I, I had to do more spa splatter effects. I'm, I'm playing around with them ever since I did my Gene Wilder piece. And what I like to do is I like to make these little wet spots and then I have a straw and I just blow at it to make it move around. Um, and it's just a, it's a technique that I'm kind of having fun with right now. So I'll probably play around with that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so here it is. And even though I didn't raise as much as I wanted to when I auctioned it off, I was still glad to do something to help Kel's campaign out, and like I said, he was very grateful, so 
Um, it was fun to paint, and it was for a good cause, and it was just overall just kind of kind of cool to work on. So, yep, there's Zombie Mama. <laughs> yeah, I had way too much fun with this. But I think that does it for this video. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. A couple of people following me on other social media as well. That's pretty awesome. But, I mean, it's just really cool to see the channel growing so much. Um, and to see all the support and everything. When I started this art channel, I mostly... And here I am. So I opened up the toilet paper and bent it back and it's, it was entirely covered with glue so it's really stiff. And then I went in with red and black eyeshadow to deepen it. Then Bobby Joe came over and helped me finish up.